just um, center us a little bit. Sure, sometimes. But we've made good friends too. Like all of you. Remember all the nights we spent with them. In prayer and celebration. And all our plans. Who says they can come true? If not this year, the next. Just another New Year's Eve, another night like all the rest. It's just another New Year's Eve. Let's make it the best. It's just another New Year's Eve. It's just another old time. But when we're through this New Year, you'll see. Will be just fine. As we gather our thoughts and prayers, we gather together New Year's Eve of 2020, looking for a new year and a new opportunity to be together, to pray with one another and to celebrate our lives together as one. But although we may be so spatially and socially distant, our prayers unite us together and they remind us of who we are and what we're about. We find ourselves being embraced by a God who loves us and cares for us, who knows our pain and our suffering, but also knows in a profound and special way that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing can keep us apart. We measure life in time, different ways than they did in scripture. Their years were different than our years, but always tied to the seasons. We hear the beautiful words in Ecclesiastes under everything, there is a season. And we recognize the fact that we've been through some harsh seasons in the past. As always, I'm struck with great humility of knowing I'm speaking to people that are going through vastly different circumstances that are, some are going through some emotional or financial pain. Some people have lost people they love to the pandemic and to just the normal course of life that can be so harsh and difficult at times. But we consider as Romans reminds us that the present sufferings are nothing compared to the glory that will be revealed in us when we unite ourselves with God. Because we recognize that therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come the old is gone, but the new is here. And we recognize that for people of goodwill, spiritually may be different, but we are united in a profound way, knowing that we are loved and we are cared for a God who loves us and cares for us and strengthens us. For this year is not like any other year, but it can be a better year ahead because we've learned what it means to be compassionate and loving and sensitive. Frontline workers who we took for granted now are the heroes of our community and our society. We have an opportunity this year to move forward, to recognize God's love and peace, the incredible parish leadership that has come forth in all our reopening plans is a reminder that we've got more reopening to do, not just our church buildings, but our hearts and our minds and our souls to the love of God who loves us and cares for us and will give us that special armor to defeat any foe, to remind ourselves of any obstacle that can keep us from peace is something that we can combat together, but not as warriors in the military sense, but as caregivers and supporters and nurturers. Today we celebrate the wonderful solemnity of the motherhood of God. And in my 
online liturgies, I, I give a little testimony and honor my own mother who passed away 30 years ago today. But this isn't about me or my mother today. This is about us as a community, as a, an extended family that unites us together and reminds us of who we are. So let us put on those qualities that will help us as we continue God's love and peace. And this seems to me like a, a wonderful prayer for us um, as we look towards the new year. This is from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about those things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the peace of God will be with you. We certainly are searching for peace this year. There is peace in knowing that we are not alone, that we're united together by prayer and petition, but most importantly, compassion, love, and mutual respect. We ask the Lord to help us learn from our mistakes this year. Those that we may have committed by ourselves or those that we may have done committed as a society, as a group. May we find ourselves ready to start a new year and have a new beginning and unite ourselves together as one, as one family under God, united and kept together as people who love and cherish one another. And so my prayer today is I wanna let you know how much I cherish all of you, how grateful I am to be with you. And you know, I think of my mom on this day, and I think about the people she's put in my life, that she's watching over me through you. And I hope you feel the same way. God bless you all. And as we join our hearts in prayers, this may be just another New Year's Eve, another night like all the rest. It's just another New Year's Eve. Let's make it the best. And we've made it the best when we unite ourselves to God and put on love, the bond of perfection. So may the Lord bless you. And I'm going to share with you um, an excerpt from today's first reading. It's from the book of Numbers. And what's beautiful about this, it's the prayer of Aaron. As you know, Moses was the servant leader. Of, he was of the people. Miriam, his sister, who led the people in, in song and dance, was a prophetess. And Aaron was part of, was a priest. And so the threefold ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ was really seen forth by Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. And Aaron was given a special prayer delivered to him through Moses that he would share with the people. And it's a beautiful prayer that I'd like to um, conclude my portion of the service. If people would like to chime in after, you're welcome to, but I'm gonna close with this prayer. Um, it's the prayer of Aaron, but it's all our prayers. And I wanna thank you all for your own ways of being priests, prophets, and servant leaders in my life and being there for one another and for all of God's loved ones. So this is a threefold blessing. So let us ask God to be with us, to strengthen us and to guide us. And we pray. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And this prayer, once more, I will remind us, is very maternal in nature. It's very appropriate for a peace day for our Blessed Mother. But it's very paternal as well, especially when we image our God as Abba Father. So may the Lord bless you all. God bless you. And now we'll open up the airwaves. Does anybody like to say anything more before we, we head off?
again, thank you all for joining us on this. Thank you for doing it. I'd just like to say Thank Happy you. New Year to everybody. Happy oh. New Year. Happy yeah, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year Father. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks, Father George. Thank you, oh. Father George. Happy New I, Year, all. I, I, you know, we're we're going to be experimenting with these things, but I hope it, I hope it was what people were looking for. Absolutely. Oh, oh, great. Thank you. Thank you, Father George. For all Thank that you. you've done for us this year, it's uh, been a challenging year for you and for your staff, but you've met the challenge and you've kept the, the communion between you and your, your parish with your um, video masses. And uh, I can't tell you how important that is to everybody. And I, God bless you and thank you for your service. Oh, yes, well, thank Father. you. Yes, Father. Thank you. Father. I feel the same. Oh, thank you. Thank yes. you. I, I'm also uh, very um, grateful that you have been so cautious and careful uh, because there have been other places where, where that hasn't been done. And I'm very grateful for you to listen to like Mickey and Beth, uh, other people around who uh, know how to keep us safe while uh, caring for us and letting us join together, but keeping us safe. No, and, and they, they've kept me safe too. It's been very, it's been very powerful. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you, Father. Thank you, Father. Bye, Bye everybody. It's so good to Bye. see you. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year Father. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Night. Happy New Year to everybody on the call. God, God oh, bless Kathy. you. Happy, Happy New Year. Background. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye, Father. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking the time to be here. I appreciate it. Here's your 2021. Thanks, yeah. Father George. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Thank you.